Hello YouTubers and welcome to our review channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick first look review and it's for the Vaptio wall crawler. In this review we're just going to be able to show you the unit because that's all I have. But uh, we'll show this to you and it actually has nice uh, ID going on. So we'll uh, go through the menus and then we'll install uh, this Frogman W8 version tank which has a multi-core multi structure. So before we start, I want to remind you, guys, remind you guys to like our video, also subscribe. And uh, so yeah, this uh, is the wall crawler uh, mod, and uh, it goes up to 80 watts. It has this is a powered by a single 18650 battery. So uh, we'll just show you the build of it real quick. So we have some ventilation holes down here. Again, this is PVC, and then. You should be able to see the webby uh, design there. So nice on the ID tip there. So do a shake rattle test. So this is nice and uh, solid. Micro USB port here on the side. Voptio. And then you can see here it has a, a squeeze uh, fire uh, button. And uh, it's telling us that we we ha we don't have a, uh, a tank installed. So we actually uh, click this button five times, I think. Let's see. Okay, so it needs to be rapid five times, and then it powers off. Let's just show you. Okay, so this uh, is powered by a single 1860 battery, and this is spring-loaded. And upon uh, screwing this battery uh, in, uh, the unit powers on. So this uh, this wall crawler is, is actually has like a pretty cool uh, form factor. Okay, so it's shorter, uh, but the cap is uh, comes up a little bit higher. So again, this is a Frogman tank. Uh, we actually showed this tank off in our N1 Pro uh, first look review. So it has a cool multi-core uh, structure. So four coils, four cantho coils. Okay. So that's pretty much all for the build. Uh, this is a 1.3 inch color screen. And there's the down button, click test, up button, and again. Okay, so this is hinged at the bottom, so you'll have to press or squeeze at the top of this uh, fire button. And if you squeeze this twice let's see what is it doing so there's a new tank installed so so you can change normal high and soft and if you go click this three times you can go into the settings let's do that and go into mode so very wattage mode TC mode okay bypass mode allows you to use this thing like a mech mod and let's go back in there. Okay, so I'm guessing this looks like it's a warning, maybe. Well, the, maybe I have a low battery. Uh oh. Okay. So let's wrap up this review. Okay, so we have tons of settings in here. Language. So this currently supports. Let's check. Ah. Uh, Okay, five times. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take out a battery from this uh, Superbat mod. And so, actually, you know, the, the Spire batteries are pretty good, but I mean, I don't know what's going on with this one. So we actually uh, switch one this out. I believe this is a Sony battery. So yeah, I mean, again, the Spire batteries. Like I, I've actually been to their factory, their battery factory. They actually have a their own battery factory so it's not just uh, they don't just rewrap but again maybe maybe this battery has a shelf life of around a year I'm not sure okay so this battery looks like it's okay so let's try to get this clicking thing down so three times okay so now we're back in there 
and go into settings. So smoke time again, language. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this actually does have multi language. So Polish, Dutch, Spanish, Russian, English, French. Okay, so all the main European languages. So sleep time, inner resistance, it's actually for the battery. This is, this basically is, this is a cool feature. It basically uh, tells you the, uh, the status of your battery um, and if you need to uh, change your battery. So this is kind of like a safety function. And it says mismatch, so maybe, uh, okay, I'm, I'm still not really sure what this is. Maybe it's, uh, okay, see, there's enough battery there, so. Okay, so let's just uh, go ahead and try to vape this. This is at 79 watts, so I'll take this down to 40, 48. I, I watched other reviews, and uh, people seem to think that 50 watts is the, uh, the sweet point. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like there is something wrong, so maybe it is the battery that um, we need to change out. So, we'll actually do that. We'll try to switch out the battery. Okay, so if you guys missed uh, the review on this uh, Super Bat mod, mod, check it out. I believe that we're probably one of the first people to do an un unboxing on this. Yeah, so that, that is definitely the battery. Um, mismatch there that we saw so okay now it's supposed to be turning off so let's just take the battery out this way we also did a review or an, a, a first look on of, of the uh, N1 Pro light kit as well so if you're into Optio products or if you want a dual 18650 mod then uh, check out that review so let's just uh, the settings inner re resistance okay yeah so I'm not sure what's going on with with this battery um, and the mod but I'll have to uh, go in and check that out um, but yes uh, you can see here it has a really nice uh, build I like the ID um, really nice uh, form factor on this unit so I'll definitely be I think this will be my on the go vape unit so uh, stay tuned if you guys want us to, if you want if you guys want us to show you uh, how to upgrade the firmware or anything like that you can ask us in the comments section alright thanks for watching like our video and subscribe